So in this challenge we'll look at uh, how we can uh, decode the scrambled alphabet code. So first we start off with a challenge and we can see here uh, this is the this is the encoded text or the cipher text that we received and if we do a quick frequency analysis of it we should be able to spot some key things. So normally the most popular uh, character is the E. So in this case an L is the most frequent character in the ciphertext followed by an E. So the first two guesses we can make roughly are that an L is an E and an E is a T because a T is the second most popular character. Okay so we come down here and we'll pick off our L. So an L becomes an E. Let's try that. And the next one is that an E, cipher E, becomes a T. Then hopefully we should be starting to see some words appear. So this one here, a C, looks a bit like an O because that is that could be two. So we'll just try that. And here we here we have a word here. The is the most common three letter word. So a W hopefully will become an H. Okay, so hopefully we'll start to be able to see there's a two. Yeah. This could be to be, so a G looks like a B. To be, and that works. And uh, now, if we just look through the text, to be. Here we have here, so O, and we'll see that a Y could be an F. And this looks like the word often, so an I looks like an N. And could we have an AND here? This Z looks like a D. And certainly an X looks like an A. So that's quite a popular letter that we have. So it should help quite a lot. And here do we, is it in or on? It can't be an O. In. And it's not uh, an an because we've already got that. So we'll go for a P as an, an I. Let's try that one. An S looks like a W. A Q looks like a V. A K looks like an R. There have been many. An M looks like an M. V looks like a Y. An N looks like a K. 
So you can see that we're finding them extremely quickly and we have an R which is an S for software. An F looks like a P. An A looks like an L for problems there. And applications, a B looks like a C. A U looks like a U because of this much. Nearly there. So programs, an H looks like a G. And we've only got two left. Major, G three left, G looks like a G. And nearly there. So we just have a couple of letters left. Just have to try and find them now. And we have a D and a T and an O left. Maybe that those letters don't actually exist in the text. It could be, could be that we they, we have a Q at the there. So D doesn't exist at all. So we'll just park a Q here. And there we have one there. So an O looks like a Z. And let's see if that's us finished. There we go. And T is a Q, so it's, we can just replace that one. And I think it's there. So you can see that a very complicated scramble, the code can be very easily cracked just by using some intuition and some basic frequency analysis. Okay, so that's showing how we can crack a scrambled alphabet code.